In this video we are going to see how to create and use a table layout panel control. A table layout panel control is simply a panel control that provides a table layout. When you say table layout that means it has a grid layout where there are columns and there are rows. So now question comes why would you want to use this control? Why do, would you want to use this panel? The, main advantage or use of this panel is let's say you have a very complex user interface or very complex form where you have a bunch of input controls for example you are trying to get information about a customer where you have a name address zip code location city country and bunch of other controls and they are laid out in a same uh, uh, you know row and then you want to resize and reposition them uh, at the same times without going uh, you know each uh, one control at a time so that's where this panel control comes in picture so you will see more in this video by the time we are done finishing this video you will see how uh, useful this control can be again there is nothing much this is just a panel container control where purpose of this control is to just uh, place bunch of uh, children control on top of it and then you know help them resize uh, 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 in you know without spending too much time so let's uh, let's get started so what you do is uh, drag and drop a table layout panel from your toolbox uh, toolbox to onto the form as soon as uh, you drag and drop a table layout panel to onto the form you will see the default it action items are listed in this task list so as you can see there's a add column add row remove last column remove last row edit rows and columns so by default your panel has actually two rows and uh, two columns so what I'm going to do I'm going to add a you know add one more column add two more rows as you can see size of this is still same so I'm going to actually add one more row now you can also edit these rows and columns so if you click on edit rows and columns you can see you can also define the percentile of these uh, columns like how much percentage you want to be everything you can you know you can decide from here so column one say I say I want 30 percent say auto size 30 percent I want column two to 30 percent and then column 3 to 40 percent you can also add more columns from here delete and insert okay and you can also actually select rows from here and then as you can see size for rows you can also select you know size for rows say okay so now one other thing you want to do is once you're uh, you know once you know how many rows and how many columns uh, your layout is going to have what you do is now you can start actually placing controls in these cells that's that's the whole purpose of this panel and uh, by the way you can also set other properties of the panel so if you go to properties window you can set you know other properties like any other control say background foreground background image you can also set you know column count you can go to columns add columns from here as well which is same thing we did from uh, tasks where it, it going to, it's going to open the column and row styles so uh, that said you know besides doing all these uh, standard properties the main purpose of this panel is to you know, decide how many rows and columns your user interface, your form and controls are going to have. So let's close this for now. So what I'm going to actually do is uh, I'm going to place a bunch of controls. Say I'm going to place button 1, button 2. I'm going to actually make it uh, larger this thing button 2 button 3 button 4 button 5 now as you can see if I can resize these right there and let's say if I want to there you go 
Now I'm going to do is uh, say add. Uh, where is my text box? Text box one. Text box two. Text box three. Text box four. Text box five. Now I'm going to also add say this. Now this is a perfect example where I have say these 15 controls and now I want to make sure all these text boxes all these rich text boxes all these button buttons they are aligned and they are perfectly aligned the same position from left side and top and you know what I only have to do is I just uh, use this uh, panel and it's this uh, resize grip to resize see as you can see if I go mm, you know change the width of the column it also change the width of the button control so uh, as you can see by resizing this whole panel I actually am resizing all these 15 controls imagine where you have like say a user interface where we have 40 50 controls so instead of going you know going to each and every control and uh, positioning them one by one what you are going to do is you can create you can create a panel this table layout panel or you can also have multiple panels you can even have a uh, another child table layout panel within a uh, table layout panel so so you know based on this panel you can it, it basically helps you saves a lot of time to resize and reposition these bunch of controls now if you run this application what you will see you will have you you'll see nothing table is just transparent so there's nothing really but you can see everything is aligned perfectly so I hope you learned from this tutorial that this table layout panel can be really useful when designing complex uh, user interfaces where you have multiple you have law actually a um, bunch of controls and you want to you know align them and position them uh, quickly